top year for subprime lending. But despite numerous warnings, Bernanke and the Federal Reserve Board did nothing. Robert Gnaizda met with Ben Bernanke and the Federal Reserve Board three times after Bernanke became chairman. Only at the last meeting did he suggest that there was a problem and that the government ought to look into it. When? When was that? What year? It's 2009, March 11th. In DC. This year? This year we met, yes. And so for the two previous years you met him, even in 2008? Yes. One of the six Federal Reserve Board governors serving under Bernanke was Frederick Mishkin, who was appointed by President Bush in 2006. Did you participate in these semi-annual meetings that uh, Robert Gnaizda and, and uh, Greenlining had with the Federal Reserve Board? Yes, I did. I was actually on the committee that, uh, that was involved, involved with the Consumer Community Affairs Committee. He warned in an extremely explicit manner about what was going on, and he came to the Federal Reserve Board with loan documentation of the kind of loans that were frequently being made, and he was listened to politely, and nothing was done. Mm -hmm. So, again, I, I don't know what the details in terms of, of, uh, of um, uh, in fact, I, I just don't, I, I, whatever information he provided, I'm not sure exactly. Uh, it, uh, it's, it's actually, to be honest with you, I can't remember th th this kind of discussion, but certainly uh, there, w there were issues that were uh, uh, coming up, but then the question is, how pervasive are they? Why didn't you try looking? I think that people did. We had people look, we had a whole group of people looking at this for Excuse whatever reason. You can't be serious. If you would have looked, you would have found things. Uh, you know, that's very, very easy to always say that you can always find it. As early as 2004, the FBI was already warning about an epidemic of mortgage fraud. They reported inflated appraisals, doctored loan documentation, and other fraudulent activity. 